Hi guys. Hi guys. It's Kyle and Nicole. We are doing a special video today. We are going to do a fat clothes fashion show. <laughs> um, we have come a very long way. As you guys may know, we've lost about 130 pounds each now. I was about 365 at my heaviest and I'm about 220 now, give or take a few pounds. And I was 275 and I go up and down anywhere from 145 to 150 right now. Um, so we've come an incredibly long way. I've gone from a size 24 to a size 6. That's eight sizes, boys and girls. And over this past holiday season, I put on my first uh, large uh, dress shirt and I came from a 4XL and I actually kept some of my clothes um, so you'll get to see some of that coming up in a little bit and uh, when you're bigger like a as we move down in the sizes you actually kind of for us we didn't want to keep our clothes a lot of them because it kind of reminded us of like how big we were. Yeah I was so embarrassed as I got down to a smaller size each time, I was so embarrassed I threw all those fat clothes away as soon as I possibly could. So I have I have clothes that are bigger, but it doesn't show you the dramatic weight loss. I do have a couple of items that I can show you, one from the very beginning and then one from the middle of the journey. Yeah, and some of the clothes are, yeah, from the very start when we lost maybe 20, 30 pounds, then 50 pounds, then 100 pounds. And uh, you guys will see a pretty pretty dramatic uh, size difference in where we are right now. And we still have a, a bit of ways to go. We want to lose about 20, 30 pounds each. Still. Yeah, another 20 or 30 pounds. But we wanted to kind of film this and show you guys our progress up until this point. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy the show, boys and girls and dogs. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't see Help us! <laughs> this is Kyle's biggest coat. It, it's a 4X? Yep, I was wearing this at my heaviest weight, which is about 360, 365. And I could barely do this up. Like in the winter time, I would kind of leave it undone because it was just more comfortable for me. So it's it's like insane. The, the we literally could fit in the same jacket now. Where for me it was tight before. And like, there's actually room in this, guys. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> it's a little hard to be a Siamese twin. <laughs> 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 so there's the, my biggest jacket that I have. So, there we go, friends. <laughs> Let's see if it worked. <laughs> Let's get out of it. <laughs> Na -na. <laughs> okay. This was my biggest coat. This is a 3XL from Old Navy. And if anybody knows out there, Old Navy runs big. I could barely do this up. I was getting to the point where I almost had to wear it undone because I was gonna break the zipper trying to do it up. So just for dramatic effect, I put a pillow underneath to show you how big it actually is. Um, yeah, so it fit a pillow and it still did up underneath. This was stretched out so far, like I said, I thought it was gonna bust the zipper. So. You had a lot of extra room under there is basically what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, I wanted to uh, show you, this is partially along my weight loss journey or when I wasn't so big. This is a 3X uh, baseball jersey that I used to wear when I thought I was a cool guy. <laughs> and I used to go on, back in the early like 2000s when big, uh, jerseys were cool to wear, big football, baseball uh, jerseys were cool to wear, except this wasn't big on me, this fit me and I just barely did it up and the arms just barely fit over my arms and not because I was full of muscle, but yeah. So this is my 3X shirt. That's a nice dress. <laughs> so guys, this is my old uh, football jersey 
Um, this is a 4X actually. So this is at my biggest size and it wasn't that droopy or baggy on me. Like it was, it fit me pretty good back at my largest size. So you've seen us come a long way and you guys can do it too because I was massive. I am now in a size large, like I said before, and this is a 4X and it is massive. And I can't, now that I put it on, I can't believe that this was my size. I used to wear this. Let it not be a, a blanket, you know? No, it was tied on you. Yeah, it was. Huge. So guys, here's a pair of my old shorts. Now this is a size 2X. I was never that big in my legs in the lower half. I was never, uh, never carried a lot of weight in my legs, but, or my hips, but um, this was my biggest pair of shorts that I still kept. If you look, I could probably fit into one leg <laughs> these pair of shorts. And now I wear a size medium shorts. So I've gone from in short sizes from a 2X to a medium. That's, that's pretty dramatic. That's crazy to see. Yeah, yeah those were your biggest shorts. Mm. Okay guys, this is my wedding dress. Kyle and I got married two years ago. So um, that was like after the first 50 pounds. I was a uh, hundred and or after I was 173 pounds. Sorry, my math is bad and I can't do it fast. Um, but I was 173 pounds, and like I said, I go anywhere now from 145 to 150. So this um, for wedding dresses, you have to get two sizes bigger. So I was a size 14 at our wedding. So this dress is a size 16, um, and I'm now a size six, like I said. So going from a 14 to a six, that's like five dress sizes. So as you can see, um, there's a lot of extra room. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's like, yeah, 30 pounds <laughs> difference, and I can like lift the dress. Um, and I stepped right in it. I instead of like doing up all the buttons and all the stuff, all I had to do was step in it and pull it up, <laughs> which was not the case on our wedding day. And on our wedding day, it was so tight and it didn't fit me that great that I was ruining like some of the um, boning in the dress. It was actually like breaking because I was my stomach was so big it was pushing against it. So that's. The big difference now, as you can see, there's lots of room. As you can tell, there's like so much room up here. I could probably like fit my hands in times two. Yeah. <laughs> there's tons of extra room. Um, yeah, if you can see, like I I would have to like take it in about eight to ten inches. There's so much extra room. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, guys. We hope you enjoyed that video. Um, we wanted to do it not only for us to show us and to remind us how far we've come um, and to remind us to keep going and anything is possible, but we wanted to show you that as well, that no matter how big you are and no matter how lost you think you are or how hopeless you think it might be to lose weight and get in shape, take it from us, we never thought we would be here. You can do it. You start slow and go in small steps. And th this journey that we've been on has taken us years. This is not a quick fix that we did. This has been like three, four years. 2016 will make it our us being in our fourth year of this. Small changes, taking it slow, being patient. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. It, it If you wanna lose it and keep it off, it takes a lot of work. It's more than just losing the weight and watching what you eat, it takes, um, you need to have your, it needs to be in your heart, it needs to be in your mind, you need to change your thinking, you need to be positive in the way that you think, you need to not put yourself down, and you just have to work through it. Even on a tough day, just keep going through it, and you'll get there, guys. So and we're still on our journey along with you guys, so let us know on your progress. On, on your weight loss journey and we'll be right along there with you guys and we hope you enjoy this video. Yep, and any questions you have, don't forget to leave your comments or questions in, in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.
Buddies. See you soon, boys. <laughs> Buddies. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>